What's up, guys? Well, apparently, apparently, uh, I have no idea. Man, after that, I put up that video this morning the, from last night that I made, like, and I got a comment this morning from, I think it was Donald, that said his name on there, and I, I looked at it again, I saw how, you know, just you can just tell when it's, when it's really him. And apparently it was, and it was basically him just saying, hey, man, I didn't mean to say all that, you know, all that shit. Can we just let all this go and just move on? And I'm like, you know, yeah, whatever, cool. You know, I don't hate the guy. Shit, man, I don't, you know, I don't want to see nobody do nothing, fucking up their life or nothing. And, and of course, he would never admit to any of that shit. And he's always going to say that he was just tired, but, you know, whatever, I don't care. But then, like, an hour later, I'm at work, man. Shit, I fucking, I get a notification for a video, and I slow, so I clicked on it, and I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> I don't know if it was from last night, if it was from, like, before he posted that, after, whatever. I don't know. But, like, calling people pedophiles and shit, and saying, boy, you need to step into the dodecahedron with me, boy, or the octatangle, or the, the whatever. I don't know. The triangle, the, the rectangle, I, I, whatever they do, the MMA folks do, I, I don't know. But he's going to whoop everybody and just, I don't know what the hell's going on with that, but, you know, honestly, I really don't give a fuck. Like, I ain't got, I'm not gonna sit there and make videos about that dude every fucking day, but, like, damn, though, but nobody be talking about it again. Nobody be talking about that shit if he wasn't fucking letting the shit on live stream and putting it out there. Stop feeding the trolls and they won't have no ammunition to use against you. But, you know, I don't know. The other thing I seen today was I seen a video from Darky from recently. And he was basically saying that he has been hard at work plotting and planning. He has got a Section 230 lawsuit. Oh, yeah, Section 230. Ready and waiting to be filed against a Mr. Rustin757 and Scooter Baggins. Oh, yes. He said they are both them boys is getting sued. He said they have been using his content. They have been talking bad about him on the internet. And they have been hurting his feelings that he don't like it. And he's going to sue both of them. He said they have two choices. He said they can be sued and have their assets liquidated and paid Mr. Durkee all of their money and all of their assets. Or they can go to jail. That's right, Scooter Baggins. He said you could go to jail. Now, I don't think Scooter Baggins is going to go to jail, nor do I think Scooter Baggins is going to have his assets uh, liquefied, is how it's supposed to be said. I think he might have said liquidated, but I don't know. Maybe I said that just for effect. I don't, again, I don't know. Maybe, but he's, but he did, he really, this, this is a true story. Now. It's a true story. He really did say this. That they, they had two choices. He said they could either be sued and have their assets liquidated and be paid. Those monies could be paid to a Mr. Durkee, Castle Cook, or they could go to jail. And Scooter Baggins especially. Scooter Baggins, he's very upset with you apparently, Scooter Baggins. You've been a bad boy this week. Oh, my God. You've been posting some awful, awful things about Mr. Durkee. Oh, my goodness. Been plotting and scheming to steal his new girlfriend, I bet. Oh, my goodness. Man, that'd be some shit if you did. That'd be four and six months. I'd, uh, I'd feel just a tiny little bit bad for, for the dude, but at the same time, I'd laugh my ass off if that happened. I'd you know, I laugh my ass off. But yeah, he said they're being sued and they're going to go to jail if they don't pay him all their money. The only thing is, I think old uh, Durkee's forgetting and not realizing. Now, again, he says he's an expert in, the, in these legal matters. He knows all about these lawsuits and he knows how they work. And can't nobody tell him nothing because he already knows. He knows these things. He's an expert in this stuff, he says. But uh, he's kind of forgetting one thing is... He's not realizing, like, the bigger picture. is neither one of these dudes got any money or any real assets. Scooter, they're just normal middle-class folks. They work just normal middle-class type of jobs, and they, you know, they got, you know, they're, they don't, they're not rich, dude. To, and to get a lawyer that's going to take a case pro bono, which is what you would probably need to get, because, you know, you ain't got a lot. Of, now, unless you was willing to part ways with some of your, your treasured and prized possession baseball cards that you've been collecting over these years, Unless you was willing to sell some of them and get some, some of that big money you're always talking about that they're worth, you know, you're going to have a hard time paying a lawyer to file a lawsuit because you're, the lawyer's probably going to tell you, dude, look, you probably don't have a snowball's chance of hell of winning this thing. And even if you did, you're going to have to pay cash money up front or cash or credit only. No, no checks, no rain checks, no IOUs, no CODs. Sorry, no CODs is what they're going to tell you. No cash on delivery. 
you're going to have to pay up front. And they ain't cheap neither, man. They lawyers, they, they cost big money, but... And you're still probably going to lose the case. And the worst part about that is, Scooter, if you do come up with that money and you pay these lawyers up front to sue these dudes and they countersue you to cover their legal fees from having to fight this, you know, this case you're bringing against them and you lose your claim and they win theirs, not only are you going to have to pay your lawyer, you're going to have to pay theirs too. They might try to liquidate your assets and damn or send you to jail. Although I don't think anybody goes to jail. Considering it's a civil case, go to, you don't go to jail in a civil case unless you get a, uh, unless you get like a contempt of court charge or something. And that, you know, that's only, that's like if you act up and you act stupid in the court or you violate a court order that, you know, like a, like they tell you not to talk about something and you go talking about it publicly in the media, you know, that, that kind of thing. But, <sighs> I don't know. Apparently he don't, Apparently, he's not quite as much an expert on these legal matters as he claims to be. I don't know. but He says they're getting sued, and he's going to get all their money, and he's going to spend it all on baseball cards and a new four-wheeler, I bet, so he can go play in the woods some more and have fun with his buddies, and he can go play with his pals up in the woods. But the other thing today I saw on the scooter bagging show tonight at the tail, the very tail end is a very interesting little tidbit of information. Apparently, Mr. Johnny Gobbles has uh it information's come out in the last day or two that he may or may not have had uh an affair with a man back when he was married to his first wife and when he was together with her you know we'll say his first baby mama i guess her first wife i, I don't know what she is i guess i guess they was married she she has his his last name i think i, I don't know but whatever he cheated on her supposedly he cheated on her with a man and then scooter baggins played a voicemail on the scooter baggins show tonight that of a man calling in on there saying that he's got, that he just wants to get it off his chest because he sees how Johnny's acting and he sees that he's, you know, kind of being a douchebag and talking shit about his son and all that. He said that he wanted to, to clear the air and he wanted to put his story out there about how they had a, you know, they had a some kind of relationship, we'll say. You know, he basically, I don't know if he actually came out and said it, but he alluded to the fact that they had a, you know, some... Some type of encounter, we'll say, together. I don't know. Apparently, we're going to hear more about this in the coming days here on the Scooter Baggins Show. And you should stay tuned. And if you're not already subscribed to Scooter Baggins, you're, you're missing out. Man, this dude's been on, been dishing up the, the dirt on the, the Durkyverse stuff for the last two years, you know. Like, his channel, he's had his channel about as long as I've had mine. Like, we started around the same time, so... Yeah, and he's been going at this for a long time, and he's very good at it. He he comes up with info and stuff, like, very, very good, yeah. He's got the hookup, we'll say, and uh, he's got the pudding, because Darky's always saying that the proof is in the pudding. Well, apparently, uh, Scooter Baggins he keeps finding all this pudding, and, and he, li he's, he likes to share. You know, he's a very generous guy with his pudding. He likes to share. Now, that sounds he likes to share the information we're talking about. Now, Durkee's one calls it pudding. It's just information. He's very generous. He likes to share the information with others. And he's very generous on that scooter bagging show with sharing the information. He comes in, con you know, gets gets a hold to I don't know. What I'm trying to say is is he's got the he's got the inside scoop. And if you want to know the inside scoop, watch the scooter bagging show because he exposes a whole lot of crazy shit on his show and on his channel. And he is an interesting guy to watch, but I don't know. Most anybody, if you're watching my shit, you're probably long since subscribed to Scooter Baggins and all them, and Rusty 757, and Carolina Cowboy, old Chevy Triple Eagles, and, you know, all them other dudes. And there's a bunch of folks, Moses Heaps, and uh, I don't even know, I can't think of some of the others. That's like the original ones I can remember, but... Uh, Besides old Tim, we ain't heard from Tim Mack in a long time, man. He just disappeared. He just dropped off the face of the internet after all that shit came out last year. Everybody was ribbing him about, but I don't know. Apparently, he didn't like all that too much, and he just said, Oh, fuck it, I gotta go. He came back one time and was making videos about Mr. Suboxone, but that lasted maybe a week or two, and he just packed up and hightailed it off of the YouTube, so... I don't know. Yeah. I mean, if you aren't subscribed to any of them people, check out their channels. They're good people and funny shit, you know, good stuff. And mostly the darky shit, but I don't know. That's where, 
that's mostly what I'm into. I follow the Johnny stuff. Uh, I'll mention it here and there, but it's not like my main focus. Like, so I'm the dirty shit's been, you know, the dude's entertaining. He says crazy shit sometimes and just funny stuff. I don't know. I get a laugh out of it here and there, and you know, lately I've been on all this other shit this past week, but that just kind of. Again, I got drug into it. My name kept coming up, so I'm not fucking, you know. That and just all the crazy videos that kept getting popping up on online this past week. I'm sleep with that, but who knows? I got to get the hell off here. I'm exhausted. I've been working all week. and I did not out on stream, though, or on camera or whatever, but I'm about ready to pass out and go to bed. <laughs> but Oh, uh, well, y'all have a good weekend, folks. I will see y'all another video who knows maybe tomorrow maybe next week maybe a month who knows I don't know I want to plan this shit out but I just want to say also thanks for a thousand subscribers finally hit that uh, I don't really promote any of this my channel or any of that kind of shit I don't or, or get on here and be like hey make sure y'all like and comment and subscribe you know I, but I don't do all that but at the same time I do appreciate those that do so appreciate it thumbs up for that and you know and Dirk will say that and go, oh, I got 9,000 subscribers. Oh, you only got a 1,000. That's nothing. It's like, dude, you've been on here for like 10 years, man, doing YouTube. And you, you got a little help. You was in a damn, you know, that documentary shit y'all did. So, hell, dude, you should, there's no excuse for you not to have at least 50,000 or maybe even 100,000 subscribers. If you damn, you know, a little bit, just a little bit more personable, you know, a little bit more, just a, a little bit more likable, you know. You'd have a probably have fifty thousand or a hundred thousand subscribers, and you'd probably be making a good little living off of YouTube, just off of AdSense alone. But I don't know. I gotta tell off here. I'm tired. <sighs> See you later, folks. Have a good weekend. Bye.